What's going on? It's what you want in 90 seconds. Today we're making some steel and some hardened steel. You are going to need to be level 15 for the fireball cauldron in order to make steel fire. That requires tar as well as brimstone. Without a thrall, it takes two tar and one brimstone. Pretty sure with the level one th thrall, it'll take you down to one tar and one brimstone. So make sure you're using those thralls. Put them on the cauldron and get to work. We're going to let this uh, cook up here for just a moment. And once it's there, we're going to take the steel fire over to the forge, show you how to make some steel. Back in just a moment. All right, our steel fire is all finished here. Let's take it over to the furnace. Now, regardless if you have a level one thrall or level four thrall, or even no thrall at all, it's going to take five pieces of iron for every steel fire to make one piece of steel. The only difference is going to be how quickly the material processes in the furnace. So no thrall is going to take a little bit longer. Level four thrall is going to move along a little bit, little bit faster, but uh, it's still going to take five pieces of iron, one piece of steel fire for every piece of steel. Okay, so once you have your steel process, you're going to put some brimstone onto the furnace. And the brimstone along with the steel is how you're going to make hardened steel. Now the ratio is uh, two steel for every one piece of brimstone gives you one piece of hardened steel. Same thing as last time. Thrall doesn't matter, just the uh, speed at which it processes. So make sure you grab your tar, get some brimstone. Don't forget the iron, throw it all on the uh, cauldron. Bring it on over to the furnace, cook it up, do what you want, live your life. Let me know if there's something else you'd like to see and thanks for stopping by.